we're gonna jump right into this and we're gonna start off with why Haley no longer is in contact with her parents. That they made a video that she was kind of clueless of what was going on. But she does know why is it that I unfollowed her. I have to prove. I was going hard at the gym and I felt like my body just wasn't like able to get pregnant because I was pushing myself so hard. Nervous? Oh, that's your baby? Yeah. You're not having your long cuts? <laughs> not no more. What, what is, is up, up J Lex, Lex Familia? Familia? So today. <gasps> I'm nervous as fuck. Done, done, done. We're gonna lay it out on the table. We're gonna answer some unanswered questions that have never been answered before. So it's gonna get pretty juicy. Also, we want to tell you about a situation that's going on in our life right now. Well, I feel like these are all situations going on in our life. They right are, now. but some of them are questions. We're gonna jump right into this and we're gonna start off with why Haley no longer is in contact with her parents. Why isn't her parents on film or why just you never even hear about Haley's family? Like this question literally pops up no matter what mm -hmm. on whatever it is that we posted. Video, pictures, that question never fails to appear. Yes. It's something I've been putting off for a long time because it's very like sensitive to me. Where are your parents? Um this is this is this is i'm sorry it's gonna take me a minute it's gonna take me a minute but i need to like gather my thoughts i've been nervous about this video all day okay so my parents live like 20 minutes away from us and i haven't seen my parents in what i want to say is maybe a little bit less than a year and the reason for that is is I, I love my parents. I do love my parents and I want to, like, I don't know, I guess not disappoint them in life. And Same. So basically this whole thing kind of started when I got like really into YouTube and my parents don't necessarily approve of that. They are like, you know, Mexican old school parents. And on top of that, they are extremely religious. I guess like in their minds, they kind of wanted me more to go towards like maybe like a nurse or like a dentist or something like that, you know. What every parent wants. What every parent wants. It got to the point where I kind of felt like I was always like the odd man out like i'm living my own life and i'm um, i'm not like making them proud you're making me proud baby very proud <laughs> did you put lipstick on me I know my parents love me very much and they only want like the best for me. But it got to the point where every time I would go over to like my house, I was either being like compared to somebody else in my family that actually like is making their parents proud, like has a nursing job or is going to like school to be a lawyer or whatever. I could relate to that. My dad would do that all the time. I just stopped going. Like they never ever like told me like you are like I guess spoiling the bunch. Like, it kind of felt that way. I feel like they didn't necessarily have to say it for me to feel it, um, but they never said it and I just stopped going. It was a decision that I made. I'd go every weekend, I'd go every Sunday. And I remember like the first month that I stopped going, like Alex would always be like, when are you gonna go to your parents? And like every time that question like popped up, like something in me just like, ugh. Like I just wanted to like throw up, like ugh, I hated that question. Another thing that I know that like really bugged my parents and it's like a really big thing that they are not necessarily proud of me of is that I am living with my boyfriend. I started living with Alex, I believe when I turned 18 mm -hmm. and we were not married. They didn't accept that. They don't like hate Alex for <laughs> it. They don't hate you no, for it. No, they don't it. hate me, but your parents do kind of like, they feel like I'm kind of like a bad guy in a way. Like, I'm, like bad influence. Yeah, I'm a bad influence to you and I'm kind of like spoiling you. And you know, I'm kind of mostly, I'm the reason that you're not 
a nurse or something or some you know. I don't see it in that like in that light. I feel like Alex and I have grown since we were like 18 and like what 20. We've mm -hmm. grown together and we've gotten through a lot together and I feel like that like that's made us stronger. And I also like feel like back in the day like my parents kind of thought that this this wasn't going to go anywhere. Like this relationship was well, going to eventually like die. They kind of thought that because me and Haley would have problems. Haley would run back to her parents and tell her parents you know the problems and of course they're like well call it a quits it's not gonna work usually what everyone says about a relationship if you're having problems like what call it a quits yeah we stuck through it and but i feel like everybody has like problems mm -hmm. oh and i guess this brings us to like the topic where like a lot of people are like disappointed in me because i like i'm pushing alex into like an engagement i feel like a lot of people are not like in my shoes to kind of like say that because I am getting pushed or I was getting pushed into like, you know, a marriage because I am living with him and we're not married. In society's eyes, that's not necessarily like good. It's like disappointment after disappointment. And I just, I, I thought that I'd give my parents like a rest. And it would kind of be, you know, kind of awkward. Like, you feel like you're not good enough. It takes a toll on you, so. I don't know about you, but as a Hispanic older daughter, I was always told, like, your siblings look up to you, you know, so they're going to mirror what you do. And being that I was a disappointment to my parents, like, I didn't necessarily want to be around. For my younger sisters, I don't want to carry that with me. Like, if I'm the disappointment, I want to be it alone. I can say, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people could say, we're well, you you know we're all proud of you and you are a great person and you become a very great person and i feel me cry <laughs> you really are give me a no, moment like because i feel like you, you know your parents don't see it because they have like a old school mentality so they don't really see you know what you're becoming and the woman you're becoming <laughs> it hurts I haven't spoken about this. Like, every time Lisa wants to speak to me because she's like, you shouldn't hold it in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to speak about it. Please, let's mm -hmm. not. And I just, like, just dismiss it. It's like, mm -hmm. it's really hard for me to speak about this. 100%. We both know that your parents love you. Oh, yeah. I'm you pretty sure. You know, it's sure. not like they disowned you. They love you and they will accept you any day. I just feel like there's a little bit of awkwardness when it comes to that because, you know, you are who you are and they, they don't want to accept that. Talk to them. I, I know they're... I know old school parents could be hard-headed and they don't want to see like the new generation or, or whatever you're trying to do you know they think old school is the best way but they're still on good terms it's not like they're on bad terms yeah no no I, like i help them out and yeah. stuff you know with things i mean hopefully things get better and you guys can uh, break that uh disagreement that you have going on i'm sure everything will be back to normal on to our next subject ah let's get away from this touchy one yeah, a lot it's of speculations stressful. and it is stressful. And it's um, very stressful because I feel like like this situation is making me seem like a bad person. We seen a video that 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 uploaded. She was in some of our older videos. She was one of our friends in the past. We no longer talk to her. Well, I've talked. I've well, yeah, we talk to her. her, but we don't talk to her like like we used to like on a regular basis. To. No. She uploaded a video and basically she was just addressing what happened between. Haley and her and she had said that basically she don't know what happened and you know the comments were basically full of negativity towards Haley. It's kind of hard to see that you know people who, who watched us can say mean things about Haley. That, that when, they can switch up like so quickly yeah. without really like knowing anything. Yeah, and this is not like a choose sides type, no. type of thing because everything's everything's cool with us and that that we just we just don't talk anymore. We're not gonna link her channel because I don't want nobody that doesn't like know doesn't her know. or like didn't know her when she was here to like go and send her hate. If oh, yeah. you knew who that there was, then you know what we're talking about. If you don't, then you know this part is kind of pointless to you. That they made a video that she was kind of clueless of what was going on, but I feel like we're all in the understanding that everything's cool, and I feel like the subscribers are left out. She made a video, it was a Q&A, and somebody asked her what happened between you and Haley, and she said that I unfollowed her and that she had absolutely no reason as to why that happened. She went along and said that even though that happened on my part, that she still watched our videos and that she liked and that she supported us because she wanted us to do good, which I thank her from the bottom of my heart, but she got that first part wrong. She does know why is it that I unfollowed her. I have the proof 
for it. We both messaged each other and I explained to her that I didn't unfollow her for no reason. Tete made a video before I unfollowed her. On, on her video, she said that the only people that she trusted were her sister's in-law. And to be honest, you know, like I don't like disrespect that or anything, like that's cool. But what got to me is that in that video, people were hating on Alex and I, and she hearted those comments. I've never ever hearted a comment that was mean against Tete. We've actually tried to clean up the comment section when she was in our videos regarding the negativity, but y'all, a lot of people were hating on her, and I don't feel like that's her fault or our fault. It just feel like, I, I feel like people are just prejudiced, but she hearted those comments, and I felt some type of way, and I told her that. I explained to her that that was mainly why I unfollowed her. She replied, and she told me that the reason why she unfollowed us is because she thought that I thought that she was the one that created the rumor regarding that Cassidy girl. The rumor about me cheating she thought that I thought that she was behind the fake profile and I replied to that and I told her that they I've always defended you in YouTube videos in the Instagram live because I went live to defend myself and I defended that they against those accusations because there is no proof and I honestly don't believe that she was behind that fake profile I feel like it just happened to be that she was my friend at the time and that fake profile got to her to get to me and we squashed it then and there. You know, we were like, okay, we both have misunderstandings. So we left it there. And I also told her, you know, there was like a lot of negativity regarding your presence in the videos. And I feel like it got to you because at some point she would like bring things up that I never said, but I've read in a comment. So I told her like, you know, like you, you gotta stop reading the comments because people are gonna get to you. And I feel like that's kind of what happened. Oh, Haley is just you using you Haley is a bad friend don't trust Haley after all of that happened like we kind of like grew apart because that day and I actually hanged out a lot and then after this whole fake profile thing went down it just it all went to like poop <laughs> yeah but Tete knew you know exactly why I unfollowed her that's why yeah. I was hurt when she said that she didn't know and I don't know if she made that comment to like made us make us look bad what comment that she said, you know, I don't know why they unfollowed me, but I still support them. You know, I don't oh. know if that's what she meant by it, but mm -hmm. it kind of, it instigated a lot of hate in her comments. A lot of people were like, well, you know, that's how Haley is. Haley only wants to use you. Haley is actually like intimidated or like extremely yeah. insecure and childish. But I feel like I mean, if she yeah. would have said the reason why I unfollowed her, there wouldn't be that much spe speculation because there was a reason why I unfollowed you. She also said that she felt she was a problem in our relationship. Why did I forget that? We would do videos and, you know, if, if something happened and, you know, one of us got mad in a prank or something, like, we would just squash it after that. I felt like um, we kind of got distant. I never thought that, ever. Thought that no, about that. Yeah, but there was a lot of speculation. But there was a lot of speculation about that. About that. It, it was never supposed to happen like this. But of course, you know, it's it's something small, and we could get through this. And you know, we're always still here if if that that needs us. And um, even though she did that video, and it kind of like hit me like like what that video was actually very like raw and very emotional for her and i know that she's going through a lot of stuff so i messaged her i just wanted to make sure that she was okay and she replied she was like thank you for checking up on me you know i'm okay girl and i'm like okay good there's no bad blood between me and tete but i do want to clarify that i didn't just go insane and like unfollowed her for no reason like yeah, there was I mean, a reason yeah it was like little little speculations here and there but okay. that's basically what happened with us and tete all right to are last but not least a situation that is going on in me and Haley's life right now so if you guys didn't know like oh, wow. two months ago are you okay two months ago me and Haley thought we were pregnant we took multiple pregnancy tests and a few of them came back positive I think three well I mean not positive but like faintly the lines positive. were faintly there it was an exciting moment in our life we were like whoa it's finally happening you know as you know we've been together for almost nine years this it's about year. to be a decade Ooh, okay and y'all over there like why are you push him into engagement <laughs> he getting comfortable girl he can't be getting comfortable i, <laughs> I love you no yeah no <laughs> you're real lipstick next thing you know 
hey, we got her period. And we were like, whoa, what's going on? Uh, she took more pregnancy tests. Um, they were negative. So we had no idea what was going on. There was speculations that we could have had like a chemical, chemical, pregnancy. chemical pregnancy as to where it was. Like the baby never fully develops or something like that. But we will never know. So since then, me and Haley was like, you know what? It's okay. We'll keep trying. I don't, I don't think that was two months. I think that was like more than that. Three months, maybe even four months ago. Even though we didn't like fill you guys in, we left you guys with just that I wasn't pregnant. Mm -hmm. We took the decision to to try to have a baby. Yeah, like I've looked it up. <sighs> You're gonna laugh at me. I looked it up and it said that if you take prenatals and you wanna get pregnant, it like kinda increases the chance or like it gets your body ready for it. So I've been taking prenatals and no, I'm not pregnant, but you know, I've heard that it's it's good, it's <gasps> good for you. We've been trying for like the past, what, two, three months mm -hmm. and nothing has really like happened. Nothing at all. Almost like a month into trying to get pregnant, like when it didn't happen, like I was very stressed and I did decide to like not go to the gym as often as I usually do. And I've noticed that a lot of people have actually called it out in the comments. Well, some people's like, oh, Haley, maybe you stopped going. No, we haven't stopped going to the gym. Have we gone less? Yes. Have we been eating more junk food? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have we been gaining some weight? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I've seen a lot of comments, you know, like, oh, Haley, you're getting fat. Like, oh, Haley, you're getting tubby. Like, oh, you look like the same as when we started YouTube. And like, I feel like those are all kind of disrespectful. You're entitled to your own own opinion, but there's ways to say things. I feel like that's not one of them because you don't know what somebody's going through. You don't know their life, any issues that's going on. So I feel like it should be, it should come off way more respectable. Like, I stopped going to the gym as often because I thought that I was like, stressing myself out and then on top of that i was going hard at the gym and i felt like my body just wasn't like able to get pregnant because i was pushing myself so hard i'm like mellowing out a little more if i want to eat something i just like i eat it and i don't overthink it and well you know i've been i've been getting a little thick i've been gaining some weight but i honestly feel like it's a good choice I, i'm i'm happy i'm trying to move on to this like next step of my life and if gaining a little weight it's like you know that bridge then so be it but like alex says some of those comments are actually like very mean and it kind of gets to me but it's like like i'll live like i'll live yeah. i'll have my baby because i'm very like positive on that i know i will i know that i should just like stop stressing out so much about it it'll happen i know a lot of you have been saying that Haley has been extra crazy lately <laughs> but it's because they didn't know but uh, yeah, it's because we're really, know. we're really trying to start a family, and um, and then imagine that, imagine, imagine like talking to your boyfriend, right? Like really, like seriously, and y'all agree, like yeah, you know, it's time we should have a baby, we should start a family, and then one morning he hits you with, we should break up. Like, where does that come from? What are you talking about? Like that just like took me out of nowhere, and I was just really upset. I know. All of you guys didn't know exactly what was going on behind closed doors. But that was the reason why Alex like really, really got it. Really got a reaction. <laughs> really got a reaction. And and then this whole like proposal prank with Mama Lisa. I really did think that he was going to propose. And I was like, you know, we're moving on with our lives. And we we're already trying to take this step. And I'm pretty sure he's going to want to take this other step. Which he did it. Thanks, Mama Lisa. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for that. And I was upset. And I, I hope that this video clarifies a little more as to why I was upset. Y'all, I'm not crazy just to be crazy. <laughs> There's a reason behind <laughs> this craziness. Don't tell a woman you're going to start a family with her and then try to leave her. Because especially no. Latina, it ain't going to work. No, for all you know, I'm already pregnant. And like you're trying <laughs> to dip. And it's like, you know, oh, like, we don't know. We don't know. I seen comments on the, the video that you you wasn't pregnant. They were like, oh, maybe Alex is shooting blanks. Let me tell you something. I'm not shooting blanks. <laughs> okay? She said hello to my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the doctor might just like brush it off. Like, uh, keep trying. Yeah. I feel like we're young and we're healthy, but who knows? I, I don't know. Maybe I we're just... Know. 
Maybe we're just not doing it on the right day. But I've seen comments where it's like, oh, Haley's letting herself go. Like, she's not okay with life or, like, whatever. Or she's trying to find herself. Yeah. Whatever. I feel like this will tie it all in. You know, some days I wake up a little more sad than others. And I feel like it's just because, like, this journey that we're trying to start. And it's not, like... Going our way. It's not going our way. So, maybe one day you will see me, like, kind of, like, tired. Or, like, another day you'll see me, like, really up. You know, it's just... Ups and downs. I mean, everybody has their ups and yeah. downs. All we can do is keep trying. Who knows? Maybe we'll give it a break and see if that helps. I had a friend say that could have probably helped. So, But yeah, that's basically what we wanted to tell you guys. And oh my God, 2020 is going to be a crazy year. Oh my God, I'm so excited for 2020, y'all. We don't, we're not going to reveal anything to you guys, right? Except for the whole baby part. Because, yeah. you know, 2020 <laughs> might be like a new family member. Pray for us. Let us know down in the comments if you guys have any like little like remedies or whatever. I'm done to try. <laughs> Love you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. We love you guys. Send us our good vibes. Crazy, vibes. crazy year. Yeah. Send me some crazy vibes for 2020. Hope you guys are here to see it all unfold. Pray for us. Pray for Haley. Pray, pray for, for our family. Pray for our family. Pray for Katie. Pray for Mama Lisa. There's nothing wrong with her, but just, <laughs> just pray for her. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up on it. Comment down below any thoughts you have. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Love you guys. These are my pregnatals. No, prenatals. <laughs> pregnatals. <laughs> no, get me pregnant in no time. These are my prenatals, and I have looked them up, and the side effect of it is that they will, like, bloat you, constipate you, or, Hold like... On. Kitty's on the scale. No, no, boys. How fat are you? No, Kitty says she's not getting on the scale. <laughs> I'm okay with that, y'all. I've made my peace with that. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, let's see how much weight you actually gained. So, maybe like what, five months ago you were 138, so let's see how much weight you gained. Oof, like maybe like six pounds. Ooh, six pounds, my butt. How much? Oh my god, how look much? at it. Look at it. 147, what was it, 138? 138. <gasps> nine pounds? You gained nine pounds. Like I said, you know, if I want to eat something, I've gotten to the point where I don't stress myself out about it. I just eat it, and I've been eating chicken wings, like, every weekend with ranch and fries. Ten piece. Sometimes dessert. I really like dessert. <laughs>